right, it's it's early. Shit, I can't I can't even shut my windows because I can't see a fucking thing. Hey, what's going on everybody? Good morning. It's probably just 7 o'clock, 7.06 on a Monday. Truck's running a little iffy this morning. I went to try to turn my defrost on and, and the shit went... Oh, man, I was wondering what that noise was. It sounded like a freaking tire. It's a coffee mug on the ground. Anyways, my defrost wasn't working. What's new? It's always something with this damn truck. Uh, bright and early on a Monday in a busy week, folks. It is week four, month three, flip three. Are we going to get this joint done? Then on top of that, man, I don't even think y'all can see me. On top of that, we got landscape this morning as well. And, and a, a bad storm coming in. It's supposed to be later on tonight. What I didn't realize was we got rain coming in around 11 a.m. this morning. We're gonna get on the landscape job by nine, maybe a little bit earlier than that, maybe 8.30, try to freaking rock that thing out real quick. We gotta beat that rain. Hopefully Matt's gonna be back this week. Got a lot of, or this morning, got a lot of work I need him to get on. And we got a lot of work in general we gotta get on. Uh, it's too dark to be filming right this second, so let me just go ahead and tell you guys, good morning, let's go to work. I'll talk with y'all in just a little bit. Oh, cool, I got plenty of battery. That's awesome. All right, just getting over to the house. I had to take the trailer with me so I could get my old dishwasher and throw that in the dumpster. Um, we're getting set up over here and only getting set up under the pretense that hopefully Matt's gonna be here so that he can regrout the bathroom floor that needs to be regrouted and then sealed. Okay, we need that to happen. And then uh, yesterday I tore out this door frame because you can't probably tell this thing is so crooked. So basically this door frame well, this is how crooked it was. That line I drew right there is where it needs to be in comparison to where it was. Now, I get it, I guess. I'm thinking that that was done because of how crooked the ceiling is. You can probably see it's a little wavy right there. Uh, even with the crown molding, that shit still looks like a freaking a wave. But no big deal. I'd rather have the door frame straight and hopefully with all new paint well it'll look even more noticeable that's probably what's going to happen there uh we're pretty much ready for primer coat up in here uh the ceiling's probably going to need a little bit of attention but we'll go ahead and get the primer coat on damon's getting ready to sand that spot right there where we filled in that vent a lot of comments and let me address a couple of things real quick uh my door you guys had some things to say about the door uh, can't just say, hey, Joe, great idea. You got to freaking kill my dreams, but we're going to do it anyways. I'll get to that in just a moment. So, what the hell was the first thing? Oh, the vent. That's what it was. The freaking vent. Yeah, the vent that we covered up. So, you guys said, uh, that's back in the day, that's how they used to circulate air. Well, it's 2021 now, folks, and people have central air. Uh, and if you got that vent, well, your central air, your, your, your two-zone central air system is not going to work uh correctly maybe i mean i don't know fuck maybe it helps it maybe it hurts it hinders it who the hell knows so there's that issue in terms of my door people mentioned tempered glass and child proof and what if a child goes head first into the door joe and tears their entire face off gosh almighty y'all some negative nancy's that's like doomsday thinking right there like worst case scenario af um, we're doing the door anyways, and if somebody doesn't like the door, they can take the door off. Okay, it's like um, it's like Chip and Joanne Gaines planting the magnolia tree. We take old windows and turn them into things. And speaking of which, let me show you guys a couple of things that I ran across because I'm actually really intrigued by this whole old windows into something type of an idea. I got to pull my phone out for this because I got some pictures. 
So one, if you guys would like to do something like this, you can go on Facebook Marketplace and usually for about $5, you can find, you can find old uh, windows and turn those old windows into something like this. This is a cabinet right here that looks pretty dope. They use the window pane as the door. It's sitting on some wheels like a dolly. Uh, look at this right here. This is like some kind of a some kind of a cabinet, maybe like a little uh, china cabinet or something like that. That looks super cool right there. Um, and then there's oh this bathroom uh, medicine cabinet right there. That looks super cool using the old window as the door for the medicine cabinet. That looks super cool right there. So that was something that I was thinking about. Do we do a food truck or do we do old windows repurposed as expensive furniture? and you know decorative pieces and as much as that sounds like an awesome idea the fact of the matter is is wood prices are way too high <laughs> and you know to be able to sell it for a profit you'd have to sell it at a crazy price and it might not sell for that all right enough about the history waiting on matt hopefully he's going to show up today he's not fired he didn't quit as far as i know and um we gotta go do landscape we got inclement weather coming in so we got to beat the elements. I'm trying to be on the road. I'm trying to be on the road and at the property by 8.30. So let's see if we can make that happen. All right, loaded up, ready to go on landscape. It's 8.15, we should be out there by 8.45 at the latest. And supposedly rain's coming in by 11. So we got to have this job done by 11 or pretty close to done. Matt showed up. I got Matt on three tasks this morning. Uh, Regrout, seal the grout, fix the door frame, and lou on the dining room floor. Leave him from Lowe's. Oh no, wait, no, we're not leaving from Lowe's. Oh man, what a windy little adventure. It started getting a little windy on us. Got the yard cleaned up and felt a couple of sprinkles of rain but it held off on us thank god i was talking with a guy at the gas station prior to getting over here nice guy with a pressure washing business and he was like you think the rain's gonna hold off on us i said fuck no <laughs> i said but if we wouldn't have went to work today it had been sunny when they call him for rain then we were bitching we were both bitching about uh gra <laughs> grass and glass gas prices 3.30 a gallon. Yo, who did you vote for to do that? I'm just kidding. To do that. Uh, a little discouraged. Not gonna lie. Kind of feeling down right this second. I mean, I'm really fucked up behind this. I fucking killed a turtle out there. I don't think there's a worse feeling in the world than killing a turtle. Didn't know, didn't see him. Didn't even see him until he was dead. And that messed me up. I rolled I rolled by and he was laying belly up, fucking dead. I was like, well damn, I didn't I didn't cut his head off because his head was slumped over right there, and then I looked and his shell was destroyed. And uh that was pretty sad. I gave him a nice little burial. So I gotta imagine I probably kill about a thousand frogs out there when I'm cutting that grass. That's the first time I ever killed a turtle. And the sad thing is, is I've seen that turtle before. I saw that turtle before. I I helped him to one of the flower beds so he wouldn't get hit. And this time I didn't even see him. And part of the reason was because I was going so fucking fast trying to hurry up and get up out of there. Ah, so, uh, RIP to the turtle, man. Anyways, on a plus side, it's 11.47 and we're getting out of there right on time. Two hours and 40 something minutes seems to be about the norm for us getting the fuck out of there. And uh, shout out to Damon. Damon rock and rolled out there. We got them leaves done and talked to Matt. Matt called me. Thought he was going to call me with some bad news. I was feeling like that was going to be the case. Like, hey man, I quit. I'm going to go climb mountains for the rest of my life. Turns out that's what Matt likes to do. It's not meth, it's mountains. Everybody's got their thing. <laughs> oh, Joe, it's mountains of blow. No, it's not even that. This man is like a, a billboard for, for, for fucking granola bars or some shit. 
Anyways, he called me and was asking me about something that I had him on. I got him on three different things today. Regrouting that bathroom and sealing that. Uh, fixing the doorway and putting the Luan down in the dining room. And he's working on the Luan right now. So, good deal. We're going to get back and uh, we're going to get dusty, y'all. We're going to, speaking of mountains of blow, that's what it's going to look like after we get done sanding today. So, good deal. Feel feel bad as shit about that turtle, man. Oh, boy. Oh, well. He's probably in a better place now. Turtle heaven. All right, lunchtime. Just got back to the flip house and dropped off all the stuff and uh, checked on Matt, seen the work that he had done, regrouted the bathroom, did the door frame and started putting down quarter inch OSB for Luan. We're gonna take lunch and after that, we're gonna go back upstairs and really get to rocking and rolling with sanding, any type of mud work that needs to get done. That hallway needs to get mudded, I mean sanded and get us in a good position for tomorrow, tomorrow being Tuesday, to go in there and really start painting. And if we can get uh, a good amount of sanding done, get all parties sanding and mudding, yeah, we'll be in a good spot to be able to really rock and roll with paint. So that'll be a good thing. Um, I got a whole bunch of hardware coming on Wednesday, I think, whether it be knobs and poles and faucets and all sorts of shit that I ordered off of Amazon, like $800 worth of stuff. Oh, look at that, look at the rain. Boy, we just beat that with that landscape. Um, and I still need like four ceiling fans, uh, two exterior lights, a front door, carpet, and one more vanity, and more trim and casing, and then that's it. That, uh, and maybe a little bit of deck boards, and then that's it. Maybe a little bit more paint, and then that's it. So yeah. Uh, we're getting there. We are almost there, y'all. So let's hope that this afternoon can be a really productive sanding time. Sanding time. Ah, go. Woo, boy. All right, we're doing lunch. Um... We got the combo pack for the sandwich, the oven roasted turkey breast, and the honey ham, which don't really, no, it was pretty good. So one thing that I was thinking about doing was maybe respond to, con oh shit, we hit 11,900 subscribers on Joe Does Stuff, man. Shout out to you guys for rocking with me. Uh, one thing I want to do is start like maybe addressing a couple of comments over lunch. And don't mind that noise in the background. The dog's got some bones. So the last video I uploaded was HGTV ain't got shit on me. I mean, ain't got nothing on me. And um, people saying shout out to Damon. Uh, you stuck with Joe through thick and thin. Uh, make it sound like I'm some kind of horrible person. Um, when skim coating, it's easier to have one guy roll it on with the roller, another guy wipe it down. Yep, I thought about that as well. I've never done that though. So if you're probably right. That probably would have been a lot easier. I should have tried that. Uh, next time for sure. I got to imagine though that's got to be even more messy, but and probably waste a shit ton more mud. But neither here nor there. Uh, this person says I would rather have granite counters than real wood baseboards. Just saying. There was a reply to that. Um, they the, the reply was they agree. You're right. Uh, I was just using that as an example um, when I said. You know, we're not skimping on materials. However, we didn't go with granite. We went with Formica countertops. Um, that was the one, look, you know how much granite would have been? Granite would have been $5,000, easily. So, I'm not saying that I disagree. You're absolutely right. I'd rather have granite than real wood baseboards. Yeah, just couldn't afford to do that. Um, and thank God that we did. Six or eight thousand dollars later on windows. Oh god. Mm-hmm. 
I'm going to go with this comment last, uh, the final comment. And they were talking about my pantry door. Mm. They were talking about my pantry door and they said, uh, not sure if the pantry door will work since it's not tempered glass. According to the building requirements for glass doors, all the sliding operable fixed panel bifold or swinging doors should have installed tempered glass. Notice how they say should. It doesn't necessarily say that they are required to. Or more important, we're talking about a little pantry. This isn't a doorway type of a door. Hell, I don't know. Um, I'm sure that that is, you know, a building code. However, I'm not concerned about that, just to be honest. I don't really care. Um, if somebody comes in and they're like, whoa, we got kids and, uh, you know, that could be dangerous, take it down. Or ask that I take it down, you know? The fact of the matter is, I like it. I think it's a cool idea. We're going to go with it. And who knows, maybe it'll be a selling feature for the house and those brand new windows. Um, but we'll see. Hey, I want to thank everybody who takes the time to rock with Joe Does stuff. Some videos are definitely going to be way more exciting than, than others. Is, isn't that right, Luz? Isn't that right? Huh? Yeah. And you. Oh, my goodness. You. You little. You're such a little man. Oh, look at the doggies. The groom is coming tomorrow. I got to leave work early tomorrow to get y'all groomed. Yeah, I want to thank everybody for taking the time to rock with Joe Does stuff. Like I said, some videos are definitely going to be more exciting than others. Some may not be. Um, I guess we got to be getting to a point where I probably should be chilling on what I'm showing you guys from the house as we're getting close to wrapping this damn thing up, right? Got to have that big reveal. All right, let me carry my ass back to work and let's get grinding, sanding and getting ready for paint. <sighs> Feel like I got something in my eyeball. No, I got something in my eyeball. Shit's uh, messed up. All right, day's over with 4.15 in the afternoon and we're wrapping it up and still haven't gotten to any painting yet. Uh, we should tomorrow though, right? <laughs> I'll tell you what we did get done today, though. We got a shitload of sanding done. Uh, that sanding was much needed. So we got the entire upstairs sanded. I got to put a second little uh, touch-up skim coat on some spots upstairs. Also worked in the kitchen a little bit. I did by myself uh, while I had the guys sanding. And what else did we get done? We got that grout regrouted. We got that door frame redoor framed. And we got a little more of that uh, make-believe Luon quarter-inch OSB that we're using as Luon down in the dining room. And man, what a wavy little situation all that is. I don't know if there's enough floor patch in the world for all that. But we'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get to flooring. Um, so yeah, productive day. Not where I wanted to be at for the end of the day, but what are you going to do, you know? Uh, you gotta pick and choose your battles. There was a couple of times today when I really wanted to bitch, but no need to. Sometimes you can bitch for a reason that uh, is not really uh, all that big of a reason. For example, in the landscape, I'll give you a perfect example. Damon's out there busting his ass. We were out there on the landscape and I mean, Damon was working his ass off. He was raking up the leaves and blowing leaves as I was mowing, but he wasn't staying ahead of me. And that was kind of aggravating me because, well, it was causing me to have to be in a holding pattern and go mow other grass. And in the process of doing that, a turtle lost his life. I'm not putting that on Damon at all. I did that. Uh, very fucked up situation there. I felt so bad about that. But um, what's the point? I was kind of mad about it at first, but there's, there's no need to be mad. The man's working his ass off. So I feel like that was a little moment of growth right there. And I share that with you guys. Not because I'm 
trying to be like Billy Badass or anything like that. I'm nothing like that. I don't want to be nothing like that. But I'm trying to learn. I wanted to be done with the house today, yesterday, last week, a, a month ago. But you can't always have what you want. How's that song go? Because you can't always get what you want. Learn. Grow. Do better. Let me find out this truck is literally going to get that trailer. Yes, he is. This trailer's been sitting here all day, and here's that truck just going to get it. Old broke down. Good for them. Everybody's working hard today. So even though we didn't get where I wanted to get to, we definitely got a lot done. We got a step closer. And sometimes it's the small battles, one, that mean the most. I did get paid from landscape today, and boy, did I need that because uh, your boy ain't doing too good. In the pockets, I mean, in the pockets. But it'll all be worth it in the end. All right, enough rambling. Hey, look, folks, I'm sorry. It's Joe Talks About Stuff. Um, tomorrow, I'll share. We'll do some show and tell. Have a great one. And until then, I'll talk with you guys later.